Here we are at Windmill Bay Campground in Cape Palmerston National Park. Drove here from Clareview this morning. Took about two hours to run the time. The track on the way in was pretty rough, but the uh, toughest bit was probably the sand on the beach. Some of it were there was very, very soft. I had um, come down onto the beach and it looked hard, rock hard, but I let my tyres down anyway, being a bit what I thought was overcautious. But we hit the first lot of soft sand and, and barely made it through that bit. Uh, not expecting it, but after that we were we were warned, and even with the, the trailer on, we we managed to get through. Much to Shelley's relief, Shelley's over there enjoying a fruit cup. Um, You'll see the sand that sprayed up over everything after I, I washed all the dust off this morning thinking ah oh, we won't see dust for a few days. But we'll take you on a, a tour of our of our camp. This is our, our setup as it is at the moment. So we ended up organising our trailer here with up in the back corner all our all the boat things that we don't need very often. As well as our um, extra sleeping gear, got our first aid kit there, little Oz pig tucked away in the in the back, he was fabulous up at Blackdown down, down Tablelands, uh, also pretty good for boiling up some, some water, big chain there, discourage people from taking our bikes when we're in camp, and we've got um, two big plastic boxes there, one for camping stuff, one for, one for cooking stuff, put a bin here, in the corner of the trailer, that's fabulous. Again, something you don't have to get out and get away. A separate box for Michelle's shoes. <laughs> and another box there full of full of firewood. We're back on the air after a uh, small tarp malfunction. Right in the middle of my video. I swear that never happens. It's the first time. <laughs> um, so in the, in the back of the car here we got our my Waco, it's been running very well um, and surprisingly holds a large amount of stuff. We had a, a week of nine days food in it and look, we've probably got about two days food in there at the moment, easy swallows it up, it needs to be running about minus eight degrees it seems to keep the freezer part as a freezer and the fridge part as a as a fridge. A bit of alcohol stored up the back there. So got a couple of drawers, top drawer here. We're just keeping all those little odds and ends, bits of food things that um, you want it you want, but if you put them in a big box they just disappear down the bottom. Shower kit tucked away there. All the toiletries. One of the best things we did was when I carpeted these these boxes was we got our two food boxes down here at the moment but um, Shelly put Velcro on the bottom of them and then they actually stick to the carpet so that um, they don't move around on you when, you when you're going. We've got an extra esky here. We've been making ice in the Waco to keep fruit and vegetables in there. So far that appears to be working pretty well. This is what I'm reasonably unhappy about at the moment. Usually the bikes go on my bike carrier there. Um, but just the, the bit of shaking today, and obviously over the last couple of days, and the bloody thing's bent down there, so that'll be a, a fix-it job at some stage. Coming back to the car here, we've got a box each of our, our clothes. And again, look, that appears to be working pretty well. They're always there when you need them. Um, 120 amp hour battery, a little solar controller, um, and a 8 amp battery charger there that I've been plugging in when we get um, 240 power. Shelly seat, and our two little travelling companions there, Frog Nguyen, thanks to Carney and T, and Cow Wang, thanks Cindy and Kenny. Tinny up on top, so far, so good. 
I did look the other day though as we were leaving Carnarvon and a few of the um, the bolts on that one had worked loose. Solar panels sitting out here the servo. Solar shower. Here. Oh, dust is becoming the absolute scourge of my life. Even with all my dust proofing seal, I don't know, we'll look in there, and there's still dust. And I thought I'd found the hole where it was getting in and I taped the lock up, but no, alas, it's still getting in, so I'll need to get some fatter, fatter padding. Fortunately, however, it has not got into the trailer, thank goodness. Some more water. Usually that empty space at the back there has our tables and all the stuff that we that we get at. When we haven't set up the fly, we can usually set up camp pretty quickly in sort of 10 or 15 minutes. The fly is the is the most complicated thing. Um, but I tell you what, it's it's big, it gives lots of shade, and when you're staying in a place for two or three days, it's it's nice to have. I don't know if the um, camera will pick up here. This is awesome. There it is. There's our bed. Not only up off the ground, but we got sheet, blanket, doona in there. All folds up with the with the tent. A little bit of a, a knack to getting it all in. Um, but it's so nice at the end of the day to climb up into something which is uh, essentially a bed. Not having to deal with sleeping bags or rough ground. So that's about our camp. A couple of bikes nice view here for the moment. Tomorrow we'll probably try and go up to, to Cape Palmerston. But uh, it's gonna, the biggest thing at the moment for me is just the vibrations, destroying, destroying gear. And nothing big at the moment, but it's more just that every day you got to check things, or every day something little happens, uh, which is a bit of a pain, but no doubt we've only been on the road for a week that we will we'll have all that sorted out pretty quick.